Backrooms level 768, or the Temporal Abyss, as it's been nicknamed, has a survival difficulty of Time Expedite, meaning that time is weird here. From time paradoxes, to the dilation of your biology, to Dreamcore creatures, this place gets strange. The level is split up into several different parts, of course I will be getting into all of them, but those specific areas are the lobby, the staircases, and the paths. Let me explain. Level 768 as a whole consists of an ever-expansive cloudscape that goes out in all directions. There's a blue sky above these clouds that has a gloomy-ish purple undertone to it, and that sky is dotted with thin, wispy clouds. Pretty much, you're walking on the sky, but there's still sky above you. The air in the level smells sweet and enticing, almost like a freshly cooked dessert. The clouds that are above you almost look artificially made, and they have this sort of ethereal, painted look to them. The floor that you're standing on is made out of some kind of white, brick, shiny material, and the clouds that are at your feet and at your side seem to be made out of some kind of fluffy, cloud-like material. We're not sure what it is. Anyways, this expansive level has so many smells and so many areas that can be explored to the point where you could get lost very, very easily. The white brick floor tends to smell like dusty chalk, and the clouds that surround you tend to smell like sweet vanilla. And you instantly just get this strange, liminal, dreamy feeling when you're sent here. Almost like you are dreaming, but you're walking through it, but you're not. When you get noclipped inside of this level, you'll be in a place called the lobby. This lobby area is the starting point per se, and it consists of a platform with strange walls that are all made out of this smooth, shiny brick. The platform does not have a roof, but it does have walls, and it's just this large open place that eventually segments off into different paths and bridges and stairs. There's no visible support structure holding up this lobby, or any of the level to be honest. We don't know how it's holding itself up, it's assumed it's all floating by itself. But there are many platforms similar to this lobby scattered throughout the level, none of them are as big as this area though. Venturing past this lobby, you'll step out into an open, shiny sky. Clouds as far as the eye can see, in all directions, and fluffy expanses that never end. You'll see bridges and staircases and shiny things you can step on. It's all very mesmerizing, I know. The bridges here can be pretty much any architectural design. Some of them can be just normal bridges with evenly spaced steps that go up or down. Some can be strange with spiral steps and zigzag formations. Because of these strange variations, wanderers can easily get confused or lost or fall off the level by losing their footing. So you have to be wary of where you're walking since everything is shiny and white it kind of blends together all of these bridges here are made out of that same weird shiny brick stuff and it just seems to be floating like somehow this stuff is floating in the air with no support structure don't ask me i don't know the length of the bridges is also different depending on where you go some could be straight and long some could be topsy-turvy and curvy and windy it really just depends on where you're at other bridges can lead to random staircases that then lead to more expansive bridges and it seemingly never ends and because all these bridges and staircases seem to be interconnected and melded together, this makes for a massive complex of paths that you could go up or down on. It also makes getting lost easy. Moving on from the bridges to the staircases, the staircases will often randomly go up towards the sun or the sky, or they could go straight down to the void below. A lot of the architecture makes no sense, because why would you just build a staircase that ends in the sky? I don't know. The back rooms is weird, obviously. But these staircases give people feelings of just dreaminess. The feeling that you're free and infinite, like you can just float around forever. You know, walking up these staircases, seeing the beautiful sky around you. It's kind of a crazy feeling. A lot of the staircases do randomly cut off, though, and that could lead to you falling down to another part that you've never been to. So again, be careful. That's like the fifth time I've said it. I know. I'm acting like a mom. Who cares? But if you could somehow stay on the same path while crossing the lobby, the bridges, and going up and down staircases, you might eventually run into a strange, invisible barrier on this level. Let me explain what I mean. So the level is infinite, like I said. You know, it sprawls out in all different directions, but it seems like there's a limit to how far a wanderer can explore before, like, cheating to get out of this barrier. The barrier itself acts as a sort of dome, and it feels completely solid when you run into it, like it can't be broken. But you can actually see completely through it, it's completely clear. You don't know it's there until you run into it, like I said. 
The barrier can be broken though, if you run fast enough into it, or if you like smash it with a hammer or something, it just needs a large amount of energy to do so. And every time the barrier is broken, it makes kind of a glass shattering sound when it collapses. And this hole in the barrier will allow you as a wanderer to explore even further out into the expanse of clouds. Now beyond this dome, there aren't many confirmed locations or maps or anything. So go past this glass dome thing at your own risk. Who knows if you'll even make it back alive. Now that I've gone over the physical layout of the level and kind of how to explore it, I can now go over the time anomalies that make this place a living nightmare. Let me tell you. So the level appears to be safe. You know, it's, it's a soft expanse of clouds and soft staircases and weird flying eyeballs and that kind of thing. You, know, you think you'd be fine. You're wrong. The level is actually essentially a trap for wanderers if you stay here too long. Time acceleration is the effect that mainly occurs on this level, and what it does to people is scary. I'm sure you can guess what it is, but pretty much time itself ends up speeding up at like a 30 times rate when you're here. The smoothness of your skin, the color of your hair, all bodily functions, and your age will go up rapidly. It's like the level is a YouTube video that someone's playing at two times speed. Now, these effects do not happen instantly when you get here. Instead, they happen after a random amount of time that you've been here. You'll know an anomaly is about to start when the bluish sky above you starts to turn dark and hazy. And the sun that's in the sky will disappear and a clock or clocks will take its place. After both those things happen, time will start to speed up for you and you'll essentially age, like, like I said, 30 times faster to the point where you won't be alive anymore. You'll kind of just disintegrate into a skeleton. But this is where the time paradox starts. Because once this happens, you'll essentially be born again and again and again, and you'll just restart this aging process all over. Like baby to adult, adult to baby, you know, over and over and over again, forever. It's like a purgatory of sorts. Obviously, your goal should be to escape this level before the time speeds up and the time paradox happens. But if you can't manage to escape before the anomaly begins, you need to find how to exit fast while it's happening. But more on that in the exit portion. The only entities that have been sighted and the ones that live on this level are the eyes from level 78. These entities are strange, sentient, ethereal, angel-like beings that take the appearance of human eyes. Some eyes float by themselves and some have angel wings and some are like shoved into the clouds and blend in. They're decently common to see here and they're not outright aggressive, like they're not just gonna fly up to you and, and attack you or knock you off something, but they do tend to lure wanderers deeper and deeper into the clouds and further from potential exits, essentially trapping them deeper into the time paradox. They seem to have this angelic quality to them. It kind of lulls and lures wanderers even deeper. Sort of how sirens would lure pirates into the water to drown, these eyes lure wanderers deeper into the clouds to cause more time paradoxes. So the level looking so safe and being so comfortable to actually stand in is a big problem with how dangerous the time effects can be. So you'll need to listen closely to what I'm about to say about the exits so you can get out before you're cursed to be born and unalive and born and unalive over and over and over again. In order to escape the level, you'll have to find a gap in the bricks or in the clouds on this level. Now these gaps are going to be extremely rare since the entire plane is like completely full. But if you do find a gap, you have to jump down through it and you'll not know where you're jumping, but you'll wake up on level 78. Gaps are extremely rare and because of this, if you find one, you need to take it. That way you're not trapped. And since there are so many clouds that roll over the level surface, a gap might disappear and you might not be able to find it again after you see it once. To enter the level, you have to find a ladder in level 78 that leads up into what seems to be like a cloud and then you just climb the ladder into it and you'll be here. Once you get out of that entrance, it'll disappear behind you. So like I said, you need to make sure you find an exit ASAP. So I think level 768 is what I consider to be almost a perfect backrooms level. It's got the liminality, it's got the nostalgia, it's got the comfort, it's got the eeriness, the uncanniness, and the strange just time-based nostalgic effects. The entities here fit the level, you know, they, they blend in, they're cool, they add to it. I think this level will be extremely fun to go to, minus the decaying rapidly and being reborn over and over again and getting lost in clouds. But let me know what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. I personally loved it. 
Hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching. Guys and girls, it is getting almost that time of year for Brugmas. So I want y'all to start thinking about it. We're gonna be uploading like 20 videos in December. I'm hype, hope you're hype. Gonna be going over level 75 through 90. I'm really excited to continue that series of the uh, chronological levels in order. I know y'all are excited for that as well. Brugmas is such a good time of year. Can't wait for it. Love and appreciate you all. Thanks so much. Follow my Twitter, Instagram in the description below if you want to, you don't have to. Y'all the best fans. Can't wait to see you in any of my videos on any of my channels. Peace and love.